eight different things you work in. Simply one from this drop down. Hold down the shift key, press the number key between one and eight, depending on which mode. So if you press shift and the four key at the same time, it will take me to the, the fourth editing mode here, which is the mesh painting editing mode. Or press shift five, it will take me to the fifth mode. But today we're just gonna talk about the first mode, which is the select editing mode. So I wanna press shift one and the key one and make sure that I'm in that mode. So what is selecting editing mode for? Well, it's used to place actors into the level, select and manipulate actors. Also, it's, um, you know, so while we're in select mode, editing mode, one way to add actors is to create the button on the toolbar, select one from the menu. So for example, I'm gonna select shapes, click on cone, and that will bring it up. Automatically add a cone to the level. Alternatively, you can click and drag an actor from the create menu and then you can place whatever you want and wherever you want. And if you want to decide to delete an actor, all you have to do is press the delete key. Another way to add actors to your level is through the content browser, but there are a few key differences between it and the create menu. The create menu is used for simple, common, generic actors, while actors in the content browser tend to be more complex. Also, a list of actors in the create menu remains static. You can add new actors in the menu, while in the content browser you can export actors. Create outside of the Unreal Editor until your project can create new ones. So at the very bottom, Create Menus button, you can press the dock menu, a panel called Place Actors Panel, and it works like this, the menu except you can just click to add. You have to add, click and drag. All right, so I'm not gonna go over these in a few categories. You got the Place Actors Panels divided into categories and different groupings of actors. Starting with the basic category, the most basic category simply contains the most commonly used actors. To the left of the basic category is a recently placed category. This will be a list of actors that you have recently placed into your level. This is useful when you're going to be working with a small set of the same actor types. For a while in this scenario, you'll be able to just keep them recently placed category, open and drag, and drop everything from everywhere. You have to switch between all the other categories. To the right of the basic category is the lights category. As I mentioned earlier in this course, a light and the unreal actor in light in the Unreal Editor as an actor represent the light projecting from some source. Next is shapes, which contain static meshes in the form of some basic geometric shapes. Next is the shapes category, which is the cinematic category. This has actors for creating cinematics, which is basically a rendered 3D movie. So in the next so in the context of gaming, these would be used for cutscenes like in your games. You can have visual effects, as its name suggests, contains actors and variety of effects to your level. So we'll be covering in greater detail later in the course. The geometry category contains the geometry brushes that were brief, um, early introduced earlier. The volumes category is used to define gameplay volumes. A volume is a 3D area of space that is invisible to the player and deserves serves as a specific type. Depending on this type, we did trigger, so for example, a blocking volume will prevent actors from being able to enter the volume. A pain causing volume will cause damage to the actor who enters that volume and so on. We'll use that for cars. And lastly is the all classes category, which contains all the actors from the other categories plus additional actors not found in any other categories earlier because they are less common for just don't fit nicely into one other group. And so obviously this is a list of somewhat long and it takes a while to search for but it is useful. So by typing the text in the search bar, you can quickly pull up and bring the results you're looking for. So we'll conclude this lecture on selecting.